Hello, beloved. How are you? My name is Saima, and I'm a holistic healer. So I am a certified Reiki master, yoga and meditation teacher, spiritual coach, and goddess guide. And I help my clients all over the world through Skype sessions in um, identifying and releasing and transforming all the inner barriers, energetic, karmic, unconscious, that keep them from manifesting the life of their dreams and flourishing in every way. And uh, today I was so inspired to share a video on um, how to manifest new beginnings because when I'm recording this, it's the end of December in 2014 and New Year's resolutions, new beginnings, fresh starts are in everyone's minds. Um, but don't worry, whenever you've been guided to watch this video, I trust that you know you are ready for a new start. And I know that everything that I will share will benefit you just the same. So I hope that you'll enjoy it. Um, I do want to share just a few tips because I think they'll really, really help you in um, preparing for whatever it is that you wish to manifest. And that's basically, you know, it's going to be highlights of what I take my clients through in our one-on-one -on -one work. And that is this. When we want to manifest a new beginning, the first thing we want to make sure is that we make peace with our past. Um, and the reason for that is because if we want to manifest something new until we have um, made sure that we're free of any negativity or negative patterns of the past, those things can still show up for us and either continue to block us um, or sabotage us and keep us from not only manifesting that new intention, but, you know, even if it comes, it may not be at the highest level or for our highest good. And if it is for our highest good, you know, if we're not completely aligned in the right vibration and energy to hold it, we might not be able to, um, you know, maintain that new beginning for ourselves. So we want to make sure that we are totally in alignment um, with our desired new outcome. And in order to prepare for that, one of the great things we can do at first is be aware of what do you need to let go of in order to manifest the new beginning at its highest potential. Now, if you need some help with this, uh, I have a published article recently with Elephant Journal and um, it's called Winter Solstice Rituals for a Fresh Start. However, um, you know, all the rituals that I've shared in there will definitely help you if you need to do some deeper um, releasing work. I share some really powerful practices in there and what I'll do for you is I'll put a link to that article in the comments or sorry in the description of this video. Um, so the reason I'm encouraging you to just be aware of letting go of what no longer serves you before you move forward is because like I said you might bring that energy or pattern into your new beginning. So for example if you want to manifest a new relationship but you've just had a breakup um, and you know, you're still feeling some of the pain around it, or it's left you with some conscious or unconscious fears or conclusions or beliefs about relationships. You might consciously want to manifest a wonderful new partner, but unconsciously be sabotaging yourself if you believe on any level things like, um, I'm not worthy of being committed to, or um, you know, people can't be trusted, love isn't safe, I might be abandoned. So this ends up being like conflicting intentions and they can really get in the way of our beautiful new beginning from manifesting or, you know, we again might not be ready for it when it shows up. Um, same thing if you want to manifest a new job. Um, if the one that you're in right now, you're really unhappy with it and you have a lot of frustration and resentment or if you're unemployed, and you're always feeling um, sort of helpless or, you know, being hard on yourself, that energy won't support you in manifesting what you really wish. So uh, we really want to make sure that we are in the best possible place on the inside, feeling confident and worthy and clear. And most importantly, just having learned the lessons that we were meant to learn from any past experiences mm -hmm. so that we can move forward freely. The second part in manifesting a new outcome or a new beginning is to make sure that we're not coming from a place of ego and uh, want to align our desire with our heart's desires and with our higher self's desires. So the reason for that is because 
what we tend to want for ourselves sometimes can be limited by what we think is possible for us. But when we open to um, the universe, our higher self, God, whatever you want to call it, you know, that higher will for our life, we open to the greatest possibilities that our life can hold for us. And often you'll be so surprised and delighted by the things that you were meant to have. Um, in my personal life, for example, I had some really harsh experiences in the corporate world with some, you know, pretty um, intense work environments, you know, lots of bullying that was very much accepted as part of the work culture. And I definitely was never a fit there. I thought that my lesson was to continue to stand in my power and shield my energy and speak my truth, which I did. Um, and that definitely was part of my lesson. But I finally realized after my last job, which was sort of the worst of them all, that I am meant to not be in that kind of environment. Um, and instead, I'm meant to be my own boss and um, to share my gifts and talents by being a holistic healer instead of spending all my time and energy trying, helping, you know, a big company make a lot of profit, um, you know, and that's fine too. But for me, that was in my path. And because I wasn't being true to myself, I didn't manifest good experiences. But, you know, of course, if you want a great job in um, any environment, you want to make sure that, you know, you're doing everything you can to manifest the best possible experience. And that's the thing. So when I let go in my last, uh, after my last job, of trying to manifest a new job, but instead I asked my spirit to show me what I deserve and what I meant to do and how I can be of the highest service, I was shown a vision of being a healer and taking all those um, courses and certifications and trainings and qualifications that I had and all the work that I was sharing, um, you know, just because I love to, taking it to the next level and becoming a professional. And that's something I never, ever would have thought to, um, you know, take on if I hadn't aligned with my spiritual vision. And so this is why I want you to know that, you know, if your intention is to pay off your debt in the new year or as your new beginning, once you align with your higher self, you'll see that your soul doesn't just want you to be debt free. Your soul wants you to be free completely, to have autonomy, to be abundant, to not only have no debts, but to share your wealth, to be an inspiration for others. Um, you know, if you want a new relationship, you don't just want the relationship so that you don't feel lonely. You want that relationship when you connect with your heart so that you can see the light within another person, so that you can be a channel of infinite love for, you know, another and see the divine within them. And then to have someone who adds to your life when you are already coming from a place of fullness and joy and contentment and self-love. So your heart will always want something that's so much more expansive and abundant and beautiful. And that's why, um, you know, the second thing that I take my clients through that I, that I hope that I'll be able to take you through very quickly today is just to make sure that you're coming from a place of intending your new outcome from the highest vision that your spirit can hold for you. And then the third part is to envision this new future, this new outcome, and really get so immersed in the emotions of that future as if you were experiencing it right now. So that is one of the keys to manifesting absolutely anything. So for example, if you want to bring in that beautiful, loving new relationship, um, but, you know, right now in your, in your daily present life, you tend to feel lonely or you might feel afraid, um, you know, deep down of giving and receiving love, then, you know, you're not quite aligning yourself with the feeling of what it means to be in love, to be loved, to give your love, to be in that amazing relationship that you deserve. So what we want to do in order to really bring that new beginning in, and work with the universe to bring in our desired outcome, we want to focus on the feeling. And I do also have this in the article that I mentioned earlier. So um, there's a much more detailed process written there that I hope that you will check out and really benefit from. So I still will in today's meditation, take you through this process of immersing yourself in the beautiful emotions of your new beginning, 
as if it was already manifested. And the more that you can immerse yourself in those feelings in your daily life, the more you're going to bring in that new beginning in miraculous and joyous ways. You will open to so many synchronicities and support. And most of all, the path towards that new beginning manifested will be harmonious and joyous and you know you'll release that pattern of struggle and strife and to help us with this before we start the meditation um, now if you were a client you know we were working one-on-one -on -one, i would send you a little questionnaire with something just to get to know you better in your journey and one of the things i always ask is how comfortable you are um, connecting or working with other higher beings like angels and archangels and deities and goddesses um, because I don't have that chance, I'm just going to give you a couple of options. So the first option in the meditation will be you'll be able to just call in your own higher self and work with your own spirit, which is beautiful. And, you know, you have infinite wisdom and support and light from obviously your own higher self. Uh, another option, if you're willing and feel comfortable, is to work with Ganesh. So Ganesh is a Hindu deity. And he is called upon to help to clear the path. Um, in India or you know, in the Hindu tradition, the mantra Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha is chanted before any beginning. And uh, it's just to clear the path, to clear obstacles, and to bring in blessings and good fortune. And you know, just if it's something you want to try um, a little more in depth, you can take on a 40 day practice by chanting this mantra. 108 times in the morning and evening doing it for 40 days every single day and if you'd like I can leave the mantra I'll write it down for you in, in my description of the video uh, but again if you're not comfortable no problem you know just work with your higher self in our meditation today or you can also work with your guardian angels if you connect better with angels so I hope that's helpful to you um, and a quick note that the very last thing that we want to do is surrender so that comes from a place of trusting that we have done our part, that we have focused on clearing what no longer serves us, that we have extracted the soul and life lessons that we were meant to from any challenging experiences of the past, that we have aligned with our souls to get our inspired new vision. And then we have really immersed ourselves in the feelings and the sensations and the joy and gratitude of that new beginning manifested. And the last step is to totally surrender. And surrender is an act of faith. It means that you can trust that even though right now, maybe for the next little while, physically, you know, things are not changing, that you know on some level in the spiritual realms or higher realms, whatever you want to call it, the non-physical realms, that your desired outcome, your new beginning is fully supported. And the universe is working and conspiring on your behalf to bring your new beginning to you in the most beautiful and harmonious ways. And all you have to do, my love, at that point is focus on being happy in your day-to-day -day life. Focus on living with gratitude, with joy, noticing any resistance that comes up. So resistance is when you come into attachment. When is it coming? Or, you know, feeling impatient or having self-doubt, or not feeling worthy. So constantly sort of pulling out those weeds from your consciousness and clearing your path so that your desired outcome can come to you on the wings of angels in beautiful ways. And uh, very importantly, the last little tip is to follow your guidance. So that's the way that the universe co-creates with us. It'll give us signs, repetitive thoughts, and ideas of things to follow which may not feel connected to your desired outcome. So you want to manifest a soulmate relationship and all of a sudden you get this urge to go to a yoga class and, you know, you might not even be thinking about your soulmate relationship stuff because, you know, you've done the meditation and now you're living your life. And lo and behold, you go to the yoga class and your soulmate is doing yoga right beside you, right? So that's how it works. We are not in charge of or we don't need to worry about the hows and the whens and the wheres, we just need to focus on the what and be so excited about it and to trust that as long as we are coming from that place of, um, you know, really aligning with our highest vision and our highest good and the highest good of all, that 
we are working in partnership with the divine to co-create our best possible future and living in total love and joy and gratitude in the present, having blessed and released our past. So if you're ready, I hope that you'll join me now in the meditation part of this um, gift from me to you. And I'm going to invite you now to just close your eyes and begin to focus on your breath. Make sure that you're sitting in a very comfortable position. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your back. Focusing on your breath and noticing the gentle rise and fall of your chest or your belly with every inhale and exhale. Relaxing so deeply and feeling in the center of your chest, deep within your heart, a beautiful spark of light a shining flame. Feel this light becoming brighter within your heart, becoming so illuminated that it now fills your entire body with light. Every cell Every part of you is filled with pure, beautiful light. And as light becomes stronger, it bursts into a sphere or a bubble of light all around you. And it lifts you up now through a tunnel of light into the inner realms. going higher and higher until you can feel the bubble gently landing. And as you step outside, you find yourself standing in the beginning of a new path. Standing here at the beginning of this path, you are now welcome to invite your own higher self or the deity Ganesh, the divine remover of obstacles who blesses our new beginnings, making our journeys peaceful and prosperous. Whatever you choose, maybe even your guardian angel if you feel guided, they now help you to reflect on what lesson you were meant to learn from any challenges of the past that could be connected to your new beginning. Are there any beliefs, situations, relationships? emotions or other patterns that could in any way sabotage or get in the way of manifesting your new beginning. Allow this guidance to come to you. No matter what you felt or heard or saw, trust that this guidance has been given to you. And affirm, I am willing to release any inner or outer patterns that could create obstacles for me on my path to realizing my new beginning. I release anything from my karma, from my energy, 
from my past and I am open, ready and willing to learn the soul lessons that I am meant to so that I may be free. I forgive everyone involved. I forgive myself and I am ready to move forward and feel your higher self, your angels or Ganesh now, clearing your energy field, extracting from your mind, your body, your heart and spirit, your energy, any negativity, any old patterns that you are now ready to let go of. Take a deep breath in, hold and then breathe out everything on your next exhale let it all go to the divine and feel this lightness this freedom and as you have now let go of what no longer serves you feel your higher self or your angels or Ganesh now helping you to replenish and fill yourself with the light of your beautiful spirit. Feel the most gorgeous, shimmering golden light fill you. Fill you in every way and on every level. Feel your heart filled with light and bring your awareness to the center of your forehead, your third eye, connecting to the vision of your higher self and asking, Dear higher self, please show me now your highest, most creative, most expansive and beautiful vision for my new beginning in and then just state whatever area you want your new beginning to be in. And simply breathe and open your heart and your third eye to receiving any impressions, any visions, any thoughts or feelings, any ideas about this most beautiful and blessed and blissful future for you. Just trust whatever comes to you. And now aligning with your higher self's vision for the most beautiful outcome in this part of your life. Fill it with even more details that delight you. Fill it with emotion. And now see yourself living in this future outcome as if this was your reality. Now notice what is different. How are you feeling different? How is your body different? How are your thoughts and beliefs different with this beautiful new beginning now fully realized to its highest potential? Are you smiling more? Do you feel grateful? Do you feel light or free or successful or love? Let these feelings and sensations flood you and overflow to you and through you. Feel it. Enjoy it. Relish it. Celebrate it.
and feeling so grateful for this beautiful new beginning, fully realized, asking your higher self, what shift or change or next step do I need to make or take in order to co-create this divine vision? Listen with an open heart. And thanking your spirit. Surrender this entire vision now by surrounding it in a bubble of beautiful light. And if you like, you can imagine angels taking this bubble of light up to the heavens where it will be uplifted to an even higher level of love and joy and blessings even greater than everything you just imagined to bring you happiness above and beyond anything that you could hope for because that is what you deserve you are so loved by the universe and by your creator And just believe this and know this and open your arms to receiving miraculous answer to your prayers and intentions. And as you stand on that path now that we imagined in the beginning, see Ganesh, your higher self, or your angels, now illuminate this path to the most beautiful golden light and start walking on this path and notice that you are gliding, floating forward, that your path is smooth and your higher self or angels or Ganesh are removing any other possible obstacles that might come up, whether there are beliefs of your own or anything from within yourself or anything on the outside, any other challenges gently being removed as you stay centered in grace and courage and strength and wisdom and presence connected to your higher self co-creating this desire by listening to your guidance at every step staying joyful and faithful and totally optimistic and notice how beautiful this journey is Notice how lush everything is around you. There are trees full of fruits and beautiful flowers along your path. Wherever you look, there is beauty. Butterflies and dragonflies, sunshine and rainbows because this is a magical land. Fertile ground and so much light and so much light and so much beauty at every step of your journey. As you flow upwards, higher and higher in your life, to your highest path, and to your most beautiful and blessed future. And feel yourself once again immersed in light. If you wish, thanking, Ganesh, your angels, your higher self, if you work with them, for their love and support. And now trusting in your path, trusting in the universe, trusting in yourself, letting go and letting God. And coming back to your heart space now, back into your body, beginning to wiggle your toes, bringing your hands together in front of your heart, taking a deep breath in through the nose, and exhaling. And whenever you're ready, gently opening your eyes. I hope you found that helpful, my love. And, uh, you know, it's just a really short version of what I do a lot more extensively 
over a few sessions with my clients, but I really hope that you benefited from this and found it to be powerful, you know, a very helpful tool in your manifestation work. If there's anything I can do for you, please visit me at flourishinglotus.com. I have so many more resources, beautiful articles. Every month I send out um, some very special resources that are only for my newsletter subscribers. So you can subscribe to that on my homepage. Um, and otherwise, I am just wishing you a miraculous and harmonious path as you manifest your beautiful new beginnings. Know that you deserve the very best. You are so loved. I love you, I'm here for you, and I'm sending you infinite blessings and miracles. Namaste.